Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey, this is a video to show you how Ace Cloud remote hosting software works. Ace saw a different video that I made and asked if I'd make a video for them. That's what I'm doing. I'm not getting paid to do this. I don't actually use the software, but I think it's important to know what your options are, especially in cases like mine where I use a Mac. You might run across cases or situations where you need to be able to use QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Pro, Premier Enterprise. Maybe you don't have the software at your fingertips. Maybe your computer doesn't have the guts for it. Or maybe you want to remotely log into a different computer to use the software. Ace Cloud is one of the solutions that'll do that for you. So we'll just take a look at their website and see what they offer. They offer QuickBooks hosting. That's what we'd be talking about. And something about cybersecurity that I did not look into. Let's go to pricing and we'll go to QuickBooks Hope hosting. So they have QuickBooks hosting starting at $34.99 per user per month, which is great. I'm going to choose compare plans. So, um, okay, so there's essentials, there's business, there's enterprise. I just want to say how glad I am that this stuff, it's um, kind of come down a little bit in price. When I first started using remote hosting, and I did this maybe 10 years ago, it would be 60 or $70 per user per month. So 50 to 60, yeah, it's a lot of money, but considering how much everything else has gone up in the last 10 years, to see this go up, but not at the same rate, or to stay kind of level, that makes me kind of happy. So um, the essentials, the one that is normally 50 and it's $40, which, oh, by the way, I don't know why. It doesn't tell me like how long that discount is good for. If it's like, like, you know how when you look at other stuff, it's like, here's your discount for your first month or your first 90 days. It doesn't say, I don't know. If you like it, figure it out from them. So anytime access to QuickBooks supports all versions, great. Um, completely assisted setup and migration, great. 99% um, uptime. Sometimes I feel like that's better than my computer. Uh, Multi-user access client portal. Okay. Um, tier three and tier four data centers. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, okay. So going from essentials to business, you get more monitors, uh, more stuff, solid state hard drive. Um, okay. And you get stuff, right? You, you can read through all this. Uh, let me just click on view more features. Cause so far there's nothing that I see that I really care about, or maybe there's stuff I should care about and I just don't know enough to care. Like this um, compliance stuff, like I like the word compliance, um, always on technical assistance. I would hope so. Um, Adobe Reader, great. Automated backups for 30 days. I don't know if that means that it's backing up the files every day and they, they just have like 30 days worth of stuff, but it seems good. Antivirus, definitely good. On demand Word and Excel. Yes, but let's scroll down. So Microsoft connection fees starting at $5 per month. So I don't, I think that on demand means pay an extra $5 and get that. Uh, no minimum billing. Cool. If you go up, so if you go to the business plan, you get remote printing, um, copy and paste file transfer. I would go, I would go to the business plan for that alone. Um, I'm the kind of person who really wants to have control over my backups. So if I take a backup, um, if I take a backup of my QuickBooks online, I want to be able to transfer it from the remote computer and put it on my computer, put it on my Google Drive or my Dropbox or whatever, right? I want to have my backups available to me. That's a non-negotiable. Um, so you can back up QuickBooks, um, and I've got videos for that if you don't know how to do it. But not having the ability to transfer that file to me seems problematic. On the other hand, maybe I can log into like Drive or Dropbox and just upload my backup. So automated backups, yep. Automatic updates, 
great. Um, it's weird that automatic updates are included in the business version, but not in the essentials. I don't know. Things, things and stuff. Nothing too big. Um, okay. So support, um, secure data centers. Excellent. Um, Intuit authorized. Excellent. Um, and then some FAQs. Let's take a look. What versions do you host? We host all versions. Oh, nice. So when they say all, they're like US, Australian, Canadian. Um, great. So how do I choose? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of stuff here. You can kind of go into the weeds. L let me switch gears and I'll just show you what it looks like when I'm logged in. Okay. So now what you see on my screen is me logged into their sample file. So I don't have a subscription. I definitely don't have all of these different, oh shoot, all of these different versions of QuickBooks. What I wanted to do is highlight it and be like these right here. Um, but to show you what it looks like when you're logged in, uh, let's go into Google Chrome. So we're not actually going to log into anything, but I want to know, could I log into my Google Drive from here? If I needed to get a document, if I wanted to save a copy of my backup, can I get into it? My internet access is blocked. Um, I'm not running anything that prevents me from navigating the internet here. Um, it's, I've used remote desktop. It took me like less than a minute to get that set up and connected. Um, so, okay. Accept credit cards and point of sale, the point of sale. So just start premiere 2022, 2023, 19. It's nice that they have so many different years available. Um, let's take a look at desktop premiere 2023. So what I'm seeing is premiere and pro plus, um, what I'm not seeing is enterprise. Let's see here. Here's how it uses your connection. Yeah, that's fine. Open a sample file, sample product can download it. Yep. Save it. Download it. I just want to know how fast it is. Like, is it faster than the crappy backup computer I have at my desk? Um, cause really if I have to log in a QuickBooks desktop, I'm going to the crappy backup computer. Uh, it says it needs to update the file. Fine. Uh -huh. So I'm just waiting to see if something will happen. Um, with QuickBooks desktop, sometimes it's like thinking in the background and you don't know it's done thinking until the top bar has a bunch of black text and no more grayed out text. So we'll just let it think. It's unfair to judge the speed because right now we're, we're installing and setting up the sample file. Um, so let's, I'm going to wait for it to stop flashing. Okay. So let me close out of the sample file because I've done this. It'll now appear in my list of recent files. So here's my recent file. I'm going to select open and this should give us an idea of what it's like to work with the file. So that was nice. It, the stuff on the top immediately is made available. Um, so let's go to our chart of accounts, go to our checking account, right click, reconcile. We'll say it's a dollar. Continue. I just want to know like how quickly does it think? Um, so leave reconcile. I don't actually want to change anything in here. I just want to know, is it slow? Is it fast? What is it like? This so far seems great. Um, oh, sure. Grab our open purchase order. So that stuff fills in. That's great. Clear. I actually like this a lot. I'm like, I, I'm not doing YouTube videos for QuickBooks desktop anymore, but I'm like, man, maybe I should, maybe I should ask them if I can have a paid account for one month just to do some YouTube videos. Um, let's go to vendors, vendor center. I can look at stuff. I can do a quick report and change it to all dates. Click on a thing. Y yeah. Like this definitely is faster than my slow backup computer. Um, I like it. Let me close out. Not that. Let me do this. I'm going to go close company. 
and then I'll X out of QuickBooks. Okay, so what do we have available to us? Premiere, Pro, Pro, all of these things. Um, it doesn't say, but I'm, I feel very strongly these are all the US editions. So I like it. I, um, let me just check Firefox and see if I can go to the internet on Firefox. So drive.google.com start. No, um, test this thing. No. Okay. It's, um, it's well above my pay grade. My computer either works or it doesn't. And in this case, the search doesn't work. I don't know if it's a thing that you have to enable or if they've disabled it on purpose. Um, I, and it could very well be just cause it's the trial version and, and it's like, um, credentials that they just lent me and they're like, here, go use these credentials, log in, see what you think of it. If you're able to get on the internet while working, this could be a really, really great way of dealing with the situation of needing to work with QuickBooks desktop, but not having the money to pay for it all up front. Or like in my case, not having the right kind of, um, computer to run it. Like I can run it on my computer because I have parallels and I go through these different hoops, but it's kind of a pain. Like I've uninstalled it. I'm like, I don't, I don't need this anymore. I do not need this kind of frustration in my life. I'm done. So overall, I like it. I would recommend it. I would recommend you check it out if you think it's a thing that you might be interested in. Uh, the team that was working with me to get the account set up, they were super nice, super responsive, um, not pushy. They didn't care that I would get to it when I got to it. So overall, pretty good experience. If you have a software that you want me to demo, or if you have a software that you like, that you're like, hey, this software needs some love, just let me know. Like I'll run through and do a demo. I don't mind doing the demo. I don't ask for a payment for the demo. It's just me like running through the thing, whatever's interesting to me and whatever the editor doesn't cut out because it's incredibly boring to someone else. Thank you so much and have a great day.